All right, hi, I'm Stacy with So Steady, and I am here to introduce our new Versa table. So our new Versa table is pretty amazing. Um, this is the first ever modular table that So Steady has brought out in our line. What you're looking at right here is a brand new travel bag. This is a new travel bag that was built for our Versa table. It's a 15 by 20 travel bag, but it's got some amazing features in it. So you're getting a bigger table than uh, what we currently offer in our large, which is 18 by 24. Uh, a lot more space left to right, and then about the same uh, size front to back. It allows you to really have the ideal workspace depending on if you're doing smaller projects or bigger projects, or if you don't have a lot of space to work with, maybe you're going to a class. Now I'd like to show you how you're going to install that table on your machine. What we have here is we have eight legs that we're going to be installing on the two sections of our new Versa table. And we have these two acrylic brackets. And I'm going to show you how you install those acrylic brackets uh, with the legs in a really, really simple, easy way to be able to make that table happen. The other thing that I pulled out and I haven't mentioned yet out of this bag is a grid glider. And that's the final thing that we're gonna put on the table to be able to kind of pull it out together. So as always, our leg system is a system that allows you to be able to adjust the leg height by using the levelers that we have uh, built into the feet of them. As always, you always want to remove the accessory tray on your machine before you install your table. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside right here. And then in order to identify the correct height of the table, I'm gonna go ahead and put just one foot and I'm gonna eyeball it and say, you know, I need it about a quarter inch below the height of the free arm because that's where um, I'm going to be installing it on my existing table. So now I've got one at the correct height and then I'm gonna measure out all of the rest of the feet that I'm gonna to install to that same height. So as you can see, I'm just pushing, pushing the feet right onto the, the tabletop there. So now I've got my legs installed and I'm just showing you how you would put the first section of the table on. As I put the legs in, um, onto the table, now I'm just gonna kind of push that over. And as you can see, we have a table that fits perfectly around the cutout of the machine. So I do see one area that I'm gonna just do a little minor adjustment because it seems a little high right here. Now, as we're starting to look at doing a bigger project, maybe you wanna start quilting, then that's when we wanna go ahead and extend the sewing surface. So let's go ahead and show you how you're gonna do that and how we would install the gray glider at the same time. So now I'm going to take this table and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of turn it upside down. As you can see, both of these tables have our logo on them. So as you're turning it upside down and trying to identify where you're going to be laying it, you just want those logos to be on the same side as you're matching them up. One other thing to note is that we have curved edges on the table that is um, going to be the smaller section that you can choose to go in between or extend. So this is curved all the way around. And then on the extension, we've actually built in a little curve on this to be able to match the contours of the other table. And that allows it to lock into place a little bit more uh, securely as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of butt that up, make sure it kind of puzzles into each other that way nicely. And then I'm going to remove the leg that I installed on the outside edge. So now I'm gonna go ahead and secure the two pieces, the two sections of the table together. So that's where we use our new acrylic locks. And that's where those come in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put the tube through the hole of the acrylic lock. And you see that one is a little tighter than the other, that's okay. Now I'm gonna take that lock and I'm gonna go ahead and just push the legs onto the buttons. So I'm gonna do that again with this lock. Again, just pushing the tube through that opening. And then I'm going to go ahead and push that onto the table. So I'm going to push the other two legs onto the table. And again, we're just matching height here. So I'm going to go, I've got those legs all at the same height. I'm going to push those onto the edge. And voila, I have now got my Versa table. You can see that it's a very 
solid and it's all secured nicely together. So if you wanted to make minor adjustments to the height now that you've got it onto the table, this is again where you use your feet to level out the table in all of those areas. So we have now installed our new Versa table with the full extension. So now I think it's time for us to install the final piece of what makes this Versa table amazing, which is our new grid glider. So we're looking at a 12 by 20 glider mat that allows you to be able to um, not only have all of these great grid markings, but also we have angles coming through the needle area. So you've got a 30 degree, a 45 degree, and a 60 degree angle. You also have your centering right through the needle and then a center horizontal needle. You've got lots and lots to work with, great for all kinds of different patchwork projects and home deck. Um, and then it's got the rectangular cutout, so it's meant to be able to use with Feed Dogs Up. Our new Versa table, again, we're looking at a table that is, when it's in full form, 16 by 27 in size. And when you're wanting to do smaller projects, you have the option of taking off the extension and you've got a table that is 13 and a half by 16, but really gives you some great workspace area. We are really excited to be able to bring this new Versa table to all of our So Steady fans because we have now officially created a table that is as versatile as we know all of your sewing and quilting needs are. Thank you so much.